It was a bad start. <laughs> it was a bad start. Okay. I need to I need to play with a lot more uh a lot more finesse, I think. Finesse is probably finesse is probably the uh, the word that I would use to describe, uh, which is exactly what we need. Okay, let's fight zombies. Zombies are easy. Nothing to worry about here. Let's go and get the mutation. Let's do it. Food is an important part of of life and also um, video games, as is evidenced by what we're seeing right here. Who to thunk it, eh? Who to thunk it? Who to thunk it? Oh my lordy, look at Doc Ock's damage, holy cow. He is one-shotting the noobs. I think we'll be fine. Nice, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, what do we got? Explosive attack. Cultists used explosive projectiles to deal 15 splash damage. That's aggressively bad. That is aggressively bad. Um, if this wasn't the first proper run of the day and I was actually properly trying to try hard... I feel like I might straight up just restart because it is just that garbage because cultists don't really attack. I mean, if you get the class combo, then they just don't. They just don't attack. Uh, I kind of want to eat right now just in case. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are you doing, healer? I was expecting the early, the early heal. I was expecting the early heal. Okay, all right. We've had a, we've had a couple of false starts. Let's focus in, let's focus up, and let's see, let's see what the heck happens. Uh, early eggheads? Early eggheads are pretty exciting. Early eggheads are pretty exciting. Uh, I will also buy the healer class as well. We'll get that on the go too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> eggheads are very, very, very good. Very, very good. And in fact, dare I say broken. In fact, you know what? Let's, let's hit a, let's hit an early reroll in the shop right here. We're going to get a shield as well, and we're going to get a sword for you. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Easy zombies. Easy zombies. That's uh, that's totally fine. Upgrade for next shop. Yeah, I mean we can we can upgrade for the next shop, but I mean it's just as it's just as easy to just upgrade on the shop. I mean I know that we don't get that first reroll, but I mean I'm not I'm not particularly bothered. Okay, let's move let's move the team around a little bit. Move you up to the front. Okay. Nice. Looking good so far, looking looking strong, looking strong. Looking strong. We did lose one person, but that's fine. Right, I think we want to maybe pop an upgrade. Let's pop two upgrades. Let's pop two upgrades. Let's hit one person. Hit one person over there. Let's get a fridge. That's... It's six... It's six bucks. Now, six bucks seems like not a lot, but I actually think we're going to probably just go for a sale, and then we're going to reroll, and hope that maybe we're going to be able to afford something... Something that's on sale. I mean, that candle skull would be great. Not the end of the world that we're not able to afford it, because at the end of the day, all that we end up wasting is one gold. I think that I just need to get into the rhythm of just being much more accepting of the fact that I can reroll multiple times. I can reroll multiple times in order to try and find the item that I want. All right, let's stack up here. I think that this should be fine. Uh, I didn't feed my boys before going into this fight again, which is, I mean, not the end of the world. If I didn't lose the Justice Sword carrier, that would be great, but that's fine. I mean, we have to wait because uh, because we're fighting the boss on the next on the next level anyway, or in the next uh, the next area. I think we got to hit up this shop first, and then we and then we go see the boss. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, I know that this I know that this game has been updated a couple of times, so it wouldn't be surprised me if there was a couple of updates that maybe tweaked the balance of th uh, of some things here and there. Okay, so let's. Why would you run in there? Why would you run in there, amigo? I think we might actually get out of here alive. Is that crazy? No. Apparently, that's legit. Okay. Well, we have a run on our hands. I, I don't know if it's a... Uh, I don't know if it's a good one. But it's... um. But it's excellent. At least it's still going. That's the important thing, right? Uh, picking up the Panzer Poo, I mean, I feel like the Panzer Poo really doesn't make that much of a difference here. I mean, 523 HP is good. 
523 HP is very, very good. And it would be really, really, really nice for the boss. Uh, we could also pick up Excalibur. I tell you what, let's let's get it. Let's let's do it. We need to just we need to just get lucky with the heals, honestly. Okay. Yoink. Okay. This this gives us the critical. This gives us the critical hit. This actually gives us a combo. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I know. <laughs> I know. Finally we have a <laughs> finally we have a combo. Finally we have a combo. Uh, it's probably worth me buying one more person and sticking the healing kit on that. Okay. Yeah. I think if we can get past the boss here, if we can get past the boss here, we're going to be in really, really good shape. Obviously, it's not exactly going to be a walk in the park. Uh, it is... It is the boss. Right. I think something like this is probably appropriate. We want to try and finish this uh, this enemy off really, really early on. And then we'll move on. Yeah, there we go. Much, much happier with that. Oh, perfect. Look at this. So the Necromancer... The Necromancer, the Necromancer has... Uh, has aggro to the Panzer Poo. This is actually completely fine. It's crazy how the boss on the floor is actually way easier than the than the shopkeepers. How crazy is that? How freaking crazy is that? That's that's absolutely bananas. Okay, well we actually progressed down. We've spent um, a little bit uh, a little bit too much a little bit too much perhaps on on new puny humans, but that's okay. Expendable, renewable resource such as humans, uh, they're pretty easy to come by. Uh, they're not uh, they're not uh, they're not super cheap. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna fight this. Killer 99 dies on the spot. Who is that? Oh, it's somebody with a sword. That's actually completely fine. We end up picking up a whole bunch of extra tokens. Very, very, very happy with that exchange, actually. Okay. Okay. Let's have... Let's have a little look here. So, I mean, what combo do we want to develop? What combo do we want to develop here? The immediate combo that strikes me as possible is the taunt combo. We're not far off hitting the taunt combo. There's also special event directly south, and we have we have uh, we have an egghead. We have an egghead here who is already already level three, which is quite good. Which is quite good. Probably want to buy the puny human. Oh, we can't even buy the puny human. Uh, because we don't have Excalibur. We lost Excalibur on that stinking event. Okay, well, that was kind of garbage. For that reason, maybe specking into Sale again would be nice, and then just going for the, um, just going for the instant reroll. Ah, yes, we do need to make sure that we have a, an unclassed, uh, an unclassed, an unclassed unit for the event. Hmm. Okay, I mean, let's take, let's take the, the periodic table. I'll buy two additional units. Let me stick the periodic table on you. Panzerpu over there. Wonderful. How much do we get off at the moment? How much is our sale discount? 25%. So crossbow, I think, is like 8. It must be 8. Okay, let's let's go for a reroll. Let's go for a reroll, see what we get. Okay, all right. That's a good discount. That's a good discount. I'll take that. That's... Uh, that's very, very nice indeed. Okay, immediately onto the turret wielder over here. I'm I'm sensing an egghead run. I'm sensing an egghead run. But I'm also sensing... I'm also sensing um, something in the Force. Um, that something in the Force is, is Kylo Ren's lightsaber. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Let's, let's head on down. Okay. Okay. Zombie event. Yep, we know what's going to happen here. We know that we need to find... We know that we need to find the lab somewhere else. Where is it? It's up in the top right. Cool. All right. Let's have a little look-see. So, do we want to feed right now? We might actually... We might actually feed right now. Lightsaber is excellent. Lightsaber is excellent purely because of the amount of HP that it gives. The, um, Just a Sword, the Geralt of Rivia Sword, uh, is, is not actually that good, but it's, you know, it's at least a little bit of extra bonus HP, but it is also really, really, really freaking cheap. I actually suspect that one of the first things that are gonna be, that's gonna be added to this game is gonna be, uh, a bunch of, like, new level events, 
Because at the moment, there is only the, the one that boosts the eggheads, and it is such a massive, massive boost. I suspect that there's going to be, like, more inter-level events, and then also I suspect that there's going to be, um, like, a whole bunch of, like, starter-level events added as well. I mean, the amount of Despotism 3k was, like, I don't know, there's, there's, there's at least 50. There's at least 50 freaking events in that, uh, in that game. So, there you go. I would expect something similar. I would expect something similar... Uh, in the, in this game over the course of time. Right. Right, right, right. Our healer ended up dying, but of course, healers always do tend to end up dying. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why they just, they're not capable of staying alive. I feel like maybe I want to pop another level into sail. I'm going to pop another level in sail, and then I'm going to hit, uh, hit a reroll. Uh, that's, that's good. That's good. In fact, that's, this is just a bloomin' good, this is just a bloomin' good time to be, uh, time to be a Despot's game player. Because that is, that's our combo. That's our combo right there? Excuse me? That's kind of crazy. Wow. Um, okay. Bonkers, actually. All right, let's, uh, oh, we can't actually eat. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to wait until after this level to eat. Uh, pretty sure things are gonna be fine. If we could not lose the periodic, uh, the periodic table person, then that would be excellent. Let's buy as much food as we reasonably can. All right, and then we'll head up here into the TP, uh, into the TP, into the TP zone. Healer dodge is, I'm almost certainly going to be, I'm almost certain it's going to be nerfed, actually. I think, I think dodge just in general is, is too good, is too good in this game at the moment, and I think that it is going to almost certainly be, uh, be toned down a little bit, uh, over the course of time. Uh, no, don't aggro to the nearest dude! Oh, that was frustrating! Oh, that was very, very unfortunate there. Well, you live and you learn. Uh, what do you learn? That video games just hate me. Right, nothing of value really here. Uh, I think we actually just straight up want to pop two more upgrades into the shop. If we can survive for a little while longer, then we're gonna be we're gonna be out of the woods. Um, yeah, perfect. Let's head on up. Let's claim our mutation, and then let's and then let's uh, let's see what the heck happens. It's really funny, right? It's really funny. Like the evolution, the evolution of a run. Oh, look at that. That was a crit there, by the way. I don't know if you saw, but, like, the crazy, crazy, crazy amount of HP that disappeared from that, uh, from that unit. Pretty good. Pretty freaking good. Um, yeah, we should probably pop up to the shop first, pick up the spare human, and then head back down to the event here. It's a good, it's a, it's a good, uh, good thing to do. It means that we don't have to, don't have to worry about it too much. Fencers use explosive projectiles that deal 15 splash damage. I feel like 15 splash damage is quite a lot, but we also only have two, uh, two, two fencers at the moment. Whereas weighted dice, all abilities are 1.5 times more likely to trigger. I feel like weighted dice is absolutely what we're after. I think weighted dice is what we're after. Yeah. Dice is... Dice is good. Dice is good. Right, not expecting any difficulties on this level. Again, as long as the, the units that are taking the hits are, are all the, the units that I've allocated to stay on the front line. I mean, Kylo Ren taking a little bit of a, a, little bit of a, a little bit of a bruising is completely fine with me. If it's Kylo Ren instead of the tanks, not a, not a big deal, not a big deal whatsoever. That is a grav gun. That is a, okay, what does the grav gun usually sell for? That's a 40% discount, right? Grav gun must sell for like seven. Seven or eight, I think. Seven or eight? That is that is value right there. And that's our fourth. Isn't it? I think that might be... I think that's our... Yeah, I think that's our fourth egghead. I I, I hate the fact that, it, that it's egghead time. But, I mean, when it's egghead time, it's egghead time. Go big or go home. Right. One, two, three... Let's do one, two, and then we'll keep our third person. We'll keep our third person for. F we'll keep our third person free because when we head up to the uh, the event room, we're gonna lose that person anyway. So that's completely fine. 
Do we want to take anything else? I don't think that we do. I think that we just want to... I think we just want to... Actually, let's head up. Let's head up. Let's head to the food room. Let's head to the food room. We got a little bit of cash right now. It's a teleporter room anyway. We can always teleport out if indeed, uh, if indeed we need to. Uh, if it's quicker to walk, we'll just walk. It's just that simple. Sustain, though. Sustain, sustain, sustain. I need some way to sustain my troops. And I ain't got nothing at the moment. I ain't got nothing. Alright. Let's head over here. So, we need to keep- we need to keep this one puny naked human alive. We need to keep this one puny human alive. Okay, please do not die. Do not die, amigo. Nice. Good stuff. Good, 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 good stuff. Okay, that's a double, that's a double emitter. T-Virus is in the, the wild already. Cool, great. Now, here's, here's a pro little play for you. Here's a little, a little pro play. Uh, we want to head back to the... We want to head back to the mad scientist first with the zombie before feeding, because then we're only going to have to feed whatever many troop, however many troops it is, as opposed to, uh... Yeah, we only have to feed nine people instead of ten. Unfortunately, though, it looks like I'm just not going to have enough food to survive. So let's feed everyone and then let's move straight on down. Cool. Did what? Did I not? Did I not take the mutation? All right. Apparently, I took the tokens. Okay. All right, completely fine with that. That's uh, also not terrible, I guess, but I'm pretty sure that I clicked the mutation there. <laughs> it, o <laughs> it only happens. It o <laughs> I, I'm cursed. I'm cursed to always to always click the incorrect event. Okay. Kylo Ren is a uh, is looking is looking a little uh, is looking a little yikesy there actually. I also am very very low on food. There's been a lot of backtracking involved in this level. It's unfortunate there wasn't actually a teleportation, um, not a teleportation square next to the next to the lab. This could be this could be our undoing. This could be our undoing. Let's have a little let's have a little look see. Yeah, maybe actually, maybe actually just a, a straight up vampirism, a vampirism spec right now would be, would be real good. Yeah, maybe like for five, for five, um, for five coins, it's kind of value actually. Maybe I'll take the spiky armor as well. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. I also still need to consider that I've got intimidation on my throwers, which is, I mean, hot garbage. Very, very hot garbage. Uh, this is gonna be uh, not necessarily a tough fight, I don't think, given that it's just the spinny boys. Nice. Nice. Okay, that was good. That was good. That was actually, that was actually pretty darn smooth. I need to spend all of my cash on food here. And we're gonna feed in the next level to make sure to make sure that it's that we're getting the maximum value out of uh, out of this floor. Okay, I'm still a little bit worried that my vampirism my vampirism individuals might take too much damage. Oh gosh darn it, that was unfortunate. Again, it just entirely depends on what these guys decide to uh, decide to aggro to whenever they teleport. Unfortunate that we ended up losing our, our vampirism bonus, our, our vampirism bonus, our uh, our critical hit bonus, but not, but not actually the end of the world. This is also pretty good. That's, I mean, we're, what are we, floor two here? We're floor two here, and we've been offered a big sword? That's very exciting, in fact. That's very, very exciting. We're also one away from getting the, the egghead combo, uh, just absolutely stomping. So I kind of like the idea of that. I really, really like the idea of this, though. And we're going to take that. I also think that we're going to take the grenade sack. Because the grenade sack is really, really good. Lightsaber is also good. Yeah, we'll pick that up, too. Let's go for a... 
re-roll here. See if there's anything else on sale. Yellow suit is just about the worst item that we could possibly have. I will take the shuriken, though. I will take the shuriken, and that's going to make... That's going to make quite a compelling combo, actually. Yeah. I, uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Let's, let's do this. And if we have this... If we have this combo ready for the for the boss then we're all gonna we're all gonna get a whole bunch a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of XP double double healers it's it's a possibility right now I don't like it I actually think that with the vampirism aura in place will probably be fine as is but of course that's not sustained for the rest of our team yeah. Okay. Let's 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 give this a shot. I I don't know. I'm I'm thinking that this is good. I think that this I think that this team has legs. I think that this team has legs. 24 of them to be to be specific. I think this team has legs. All right. Let's uh let's group the group the eggheads. For some reason they don't want to group. There we go. Excellent. Group the eggheads up. Wonderful. And... That's fine. Okay. Yeah. This is... This is good. This is good. Uh, there is a Fencer 3 and a Fencer 4 combo. But yeah, we should have used just a sword, actually. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good shout. I didn't even... I didn't even consider that. I didn't even consider it. Not necessarily the end of the world, though. I suspect that we're going to be just fine. Uh, having having the throwers is really, really nice. I know that they do have intimidation, and it's not the greatest, but it's also it's also far from the worst. Okay, well we head down to level three. I would rate I would rate things as above average. A crocodile-faced humanoid uh, falls in your team from above. There's no way to fight back. Uh, then the crocodile faces let the victim go and asks, "What did he say?" I tend to maintain social distance from teeth, leaving you 10 dumplings. Cool. 10 food. Lovely. Love to see it, in fact. That's that's really, really great, given that we don't have much food at all. That's an excellent coffin on sale, which is very, very good value at that. Um, the excellent coffin is, in fact, absolutely excellent. It's very, very good. I'm really actually trying. It's... It's a priority of mine to try and bring more money to the next floor, right? Like, I'm trying to bring additional cash to each and every individual floor that I go to because I know that there are a bunch of specific events that give, um, that give, uh, that give, that give interesting, interesting things if you have money. So, yeah. Yeah. One, two, let's get just a sword on there, and then let's get another Kylo Ren. That's three Kylo Rens. That's some That's a lot of that's a lot of lot of Kylo Renage. Okay. Not expecting a difficult encounter here. I do need to reorganize my units a little bit so that we actually put the uh, the big uh, the big swords on the front line. I really want to see if I can try and get more of these. I really want to see if I can try and get more of these. More big swords. And if they're on sale as well, I would not say no. In fact, I would very, very much like to have uh, to have big swords on sale. Right. This is this is the strat here. I think move that to the front line. There we go. We got some back line. We got uh, we got the the egghead the egghead people. We got the egghead people ready to ready to shoot as well. Cool. Maybe getting a casual, a casual speed bonus. A casual speed bonus would be real good. I don't think that there's anything here that I particularly value. We're going to go for a reroll a single time. Excalibur is on sale for two coins instead of the usual... What? I think it's four? I'm going to hit level 3 of sale. I'm going to hit level 3 of sale. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to double down on sale. We're going to double down on vampirism. We're going to get the health bonus and we're going to have we're going to have a little bit of a 
a little bit of a mixed team in terms of composition here. Yeah, I think that this is good. What do we got? Super Punch, one Lancer's attack. Okay, this is, I mean, just terrible for us. What do we got here? Throwers can stun enemies for 1.5 seconds. Very nice. Eggheads have a 10% chance to cast Fear on attack for 4 seconds. So long as the opponent's attack is lower. I, I think that we take stun, to be honest. I think that we take stun on throwers. I know it's not good, or I know it's not, like, you know, S tier, for, for want of a better phrase. But it's not bad. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Just the sword, yeah. Just the sword did die in the last encounter. That's a good shout up at the top. I'll take stun there. Yeah, a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. A bird in the hand is better than two in the bush, as they say. There we go. Nice. Okay. No difficulties here whatsoever. The fear is the fear is good. The fear is good. The fear can actually work as a stun quite effectively, which is really quite nice. Let's swing by the food depot. Let's swing by the food depot, otherwise known as the restaurant. We're gonna swing by here, and then we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a little bit of housekeeping, a little bit of cleaning up. Nice. Okay, I I like throwers actually. I think throwers are great. Throwers and their and their bomb ability is pretty fantastic. What's the map looking like? This is a this is a garbage level for us actually. I really don't like this. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to fight this on low food, and then we're going to fight the next level on low food as well. And we're going to do that so that we can save our our feeding time for just before the boss. And that should allow us to, to maximize our chances. I still feel like working a healer into the mix here wouldn't be the craziest idea in the world. But that being said, I mean, healers are just so catastrophically difficult to work with. Unless, of course, you're going for a healer-specific build and they've got all of the, the bells and whistles. They're maxed out to, you know, evasion, to become evasion machines. Okay. I would really love a big sword right now. A big sword on sale? It's a pain link thing. That's not cool. Not cool. That is cool. That's very cool. I like that a lot. That grenade sack is... is good. Is good. I'll take it. Lightsaber, um... Probably? Probably? Probably. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Right, what else? Uh, arguably probably one of the worst roles that we could potentially get. I'm really looking to try and capitalize on the fact that I've... Stop giving me pain link abilities, please, video game. I don't... I don't want them. I don't want them. I see potential here. I see potential for a casual shooter combo. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. One, two, three. I know that this is gonna put a little bit of additional strain on... Uh, yeah, sure. I know this is gonna put a little bit of additional strain on our food, but I think that this is definitely worthwhile. Right, let's head to the other shop. I say the other shop. We should we should head to the boss. We should head to the boss first. We should head to the boss first so that we can guarantee that we fight the boss with uh, a maximum amount of a maximum amount of good vibes. A maximum amount of good vibes all around. Okay. Yep, don't think that we're gonna have any issues here. Emitters are online. Wonderful. As long as we're able to destroy this uh, this cabbage quickly enough, he's not gonna be able to eat any of my any of my humans. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. As perfect goes, that is that is up there with the best. Um, you have to kind of get the timing of of the food eating correct because if you eat if you eat just before you buy additional humans, you might be eating at a suboptimal point. Which is, which is something that, you know, you sort of need to balance with the fact that you're going to have a larger team. Therefore, you're going to need to, to feed them more. Or you're going to need more food to feed them. Uh, it's just all sort of considerations that you need to balance out. Um, oh, that was a shop, wasn't it? That's actually fine. That's actually fine. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't even want to know what was good in the shop. It's totally fine. 
All right, what do we got? We got food. I'll take one food. I'll take one food over there. Uh, it's good actually that I didn't that I didn't get tempted by any of the evil things in the shop. And the reason that I didn't get tempted, or the reason it's good that I didn't get tempted, I should say, is because I actually really want to get the vampirism level two up and running ASAP. Okay, as human descends, as humans descend, a new monster appears, a huge red ball made of biomass, tentacle-like suction cups. Uh, stand together and face the ball as a dense formation of shields. I've done this before. I can't remember what this actually yielded last time. Spreading out, standing as far from each other as you can, and wait for the ball to pass. Pretty sure this didn't do anything? I think? Just trying to recall? Just trying to recall i think i feel like maybe for science we should we should test it now nah, let's stick with it let's stick with it uh fighters receive a 30 percent bonus to health there we go all right well that's that's fine all right i should have for science it out i should have for science it out because we might have actually gotten something better oh well uh, that is what it is. I don't know if that's a random mutation that you get, or if it's just a... Or if it's just the same one each and every time, but... It's pretty diabolically bad, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> there we go. I know, it's so great that we've now got it. It's so great. All of our fighters are gonna get a fantastic health bonus of almost no HP. It's complete garbage. Uh, right, okay, uh, cart full of toxins I will pick up because it's value. I'm not going to pick up the sword. I really want to get either more swords, more fencers, uh, or I want to get, or I want to get big swords for cheap. Come on, video game. Or the BFG for cheap, that would be good. Excalibur, we don't, we don't have an Excalibur, do we? No, we don't have an Excalibur. All right, I'll get an Excalibur. What else? Anything? I'll pick up more lightsabers. I'll pick up more likes likes lightsabers. I'll pick up more lightsabers if if it suits. But I mean, at the moment, it just it just doesn't. Like nine gold, I think. I think we want to try leveraging sale much more than we actually are. You know, nothing nothing here really sits well with me. We also need to get the uh, the final egghead. The final egghead, and we also need the pretzel as well. If we can, again, if we can finagle a sale. This is a good sale. This is a good sale. Okay. Let's eat here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I said that I was going to get the vampirism level, but that's actually okay, because this allows us to get one and two additional swords, which means that we absolutely categorically have got critical hits uh, to the max level. Max level critical ability, which is brilliant. Uh, we'll put the Hidden Leaf Shuriken on you. I mean, all the throwers just get fantastic stats. All of the thrower all of the thrower things are, are really good. In fact, that's a great point. Grenade Sack is like legendary. It's yellow, a yellow item. And the Shuriken is blue. Pretty sure like throwers are one of the best natural classes or the which is the best natural item sets in the game. We got a lightsaber. We got a lightsaber spare at the moment. I think that I would rather deploy the lightsaber than deploying the cart full of toxins. Sure, that's good. Let's keep our level ones at the back. Maybe I actually want to move that lightsaber, that lightsaber back a little bit. Okay, I need to be much more disciplined. I need to be much more disciplined. I need to only spend. I need to only spend money in shops on stuff that is on sale. Right? Like I need to be I need to be disciplined because we need we need a lot of we need a lot of stuff from the mutation tree uh in this run. So very, very important that we do that. Alright. Vampirism though, even at this low level, is still looking good. We don't have any method to, to charge up our to charge up our healers though, which is a bit of a problem. I do have twenty one. I do have twenty one freaking units, which is Actually kind of ridiculous when you think about it. That's a lot of a lot of mouths to feed a Lot of mouths to feed But we can probably do it All right easy. We have a lot of damage. We have a lot of damage on this team 
We have a lot of damage on the on the team. Okay. Yeah, crit chance is now. Let me actually just see what crit chance is. So, critical hit. Critical hit attacks have a 60% chance to deal 4 damage. However, because of weighted dice, all abilities are 50% more likely to trigger. So, if attacks have a 60% chance, that means now attacks have a 90% chance. So, that's that's pretty good. Uh, if indeed I do say so myself. Uh, right, anything on sale here? Nothing. I mean, maybe we could justify picking up this Plague Mask. Or, we could justify picking up a really really good item that was on sale here but the plague mask is absolutely not not that so we gotta we gotta move on and actually we're gonna move back here and we're gonna pick up two we're gonna pick up two uh two things of food if we can there we go all right 22 food that's that's pretty darn nice that's gonna be our next uh, our next feeding session so that'll be fine it's irritating how much we're spending on food, but at the end of the day, I mean, there's not much that we can really do. We've decided to go for a, a, a large-ish team, and then, you know, that's just one of the sort of consequences that we have to bear. Uh, the tanks are almost certainly out of their depth now, and pretty darn redundant. That would be the tank combo complete, but I don't actually think that it's worth picking up an additional tank, just for the sake of... Just for the sake of completing the combo and getting the taunt ability. I actually think that it's... It's kind of terrible. The problem with picking up a Plague Doctor in that very specific circumstance there is that, first of all, it would diminish the cash that we have to buy the food, which we which we need to feed our peeps, you know, pretty soon. But also, the Plague Doctor doesn't do any heals. He actually does something called bloodletting, uh, which means that he decides to run very angrily uh, towards the enemy and then uh, stands next to them and then uh, sucks their life force. Which is not a great, um, he's not a great healer. He's not a great healer, uh, but there you go. That's, that's what the, that's what the Plague Doctor actually does, and that's kind of the problem. Alright, let's, uh, let's move right along. Let's move right along. Let's fight the, ooh, look at this. Let's fight the Mutation Room is, is what I was going to say. I don't think this is going to be difficult, because look at the splash damage from our, from our bombs here. Wowzers, that's kind of crazy. Wow. 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 Okay, what do we got here? Uh, one thrower's attack deals four damage for 30 mana every five seconds. Uh, nice, actually. Nice. Bomb level one costs 10 mana, cooldown five seconds. We need to bump this up so that we get better AoE damage, for sure. But I just don't know if that's good enough. I think that we really, we really, really, really are looking for something for our fencers. I think it's worth re-rolling. I think it's worth re-rolling just to see if we can come across the, uh, something for the fencers. Or maybe the eggheads. Attack speed or eggheads have a 10% chance to cast fear. I think we're gonna re-roll. I don't like either of those enough. 100% to attack speed maybe is, is pretty darn good. Um... Yeah, mm, maybe, 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 maybe it could be justifiably good enough. It's just a case of, if we don't re-roll, there's always going to be that question of what could have been, you know? What could have been? What could have been if, if, if Potato just clicked that re-roll button? It's a tantalizing, it's a tantalizing prospect, you know? We're going to re-roll. And uh, immediately get punished for it. Immediately get punished for it. Immediately. I should. I really should learn. I really should learn my lesson. Okay. Uh, we're gonna pick up shooter thick skin. It's fine. It's actually. It's actually okay. Um, it's just garbage because we only have two of them. So there you go. There's a. There's a lesson. There's a lesson. There's a lesson to be learned there. A bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. I mean, you know, it's a it's an idiom for a reason, right? Who am I to believe that I am I am greater than an age-old idiom? That's for sure. Uh okay. Right. Here's what we're going to do, I think. Here's what we're going to do. We want to we want to eat. We want to eat. We want to eat then we probably want to fight the boss. 
I'm gonna probably fight the boss who is just to the left of us. Then I don't really want to pick up the coffin. I do want to get the next level of vampirism. Yeah, maybe actually we just get rid of the tanks right now. I've never, I don't think I've ever, can you believe this? I've got like eight hours in this game or something now. And I don't think that I've ever actually sacrificed uh, a puny human. It kind of sucks to consider actually doing it. But I, I think that maybe it's actually the play here. Maybe it's actually the play. I mean, a food, food is basically worth one gold, right? And if we get rid of these two humans, and then we go more than two feeding sessions without replacing them, I guess it kind of breaks even? I guess that's kind of the, the calculation for, for that there. Alternatively, we just, we just gamble hard and go for sale level four. That's pretty exciting. Uh, metabolism, yeah, metabolism as the, as the restorative HP, uh, mutation is good, is good, is very good. However, it's terrible, it's terrible if you're trying to rank on the leaderboard. It's probably better for us to go rubber bullets, uh, blitz, evasion, and then into health bonus. Hmm. I think we want to get... I don't... Maybe we just don't need anything else here. Maybe we just don't need anything else here. Let's reroll once. In fact, you know what? Let's reroll a maximum of three times. A maximum of three times. So, down to 30 tokens, okay? Let's completely divest. That's right. That's right. Big words. Let's divest from tanks. And let's invest in pogs. Uh, right. What have we got here? You got a Harkabus already. Okay. Don't like that reroll. Don't like anything here. Don't like, don't like anything, don't like anything here. I love the stale pet, uh, the stale pretzel for three, for three bucks there. That is phenomenal. Okay. So not only is that going to upgrade our bomb ability, but when we do eventually spec into, when we do eventually spec into Blitz, that's going to give us extra attack speed for our throwers as well. That's also Dr. Ock there. That's Doc Ock. That is... That is good. Okay, let's take. And let's take. This is... This is big. This is really, really, really big for us. I think I am actually going to sack... Do I want to sack him? No, you know what? There's no downside. There's no downside to keeping them. There's no downside to keeping them. We can at least move to the next area and then sack them. Decide to sack them there if indeed we want to. All right. Next, we want to get... We want to get next level of vampirism. Nice. And then we'll see what... Uh, we'll see what's going on. Okay. Okay. We're now getting to the stage where we, like, really need to be concerned about the number of people that we have and the number of, uh, the number of mouths that we have to feed. I mean, these, these tanks might end up dying naturally. Dying of purely natural causes. Purely natural causes, I tell you. Purely natural causes. This is a very, very small level 4. I feel like level 4s are usually a little bit, a little bit larger. Uh, right. Well, we probably have one more feed in us after this. It's probably going to make sense to do this. Buy a value food. And then I think that we're going to sacrifice... We're going to sacrifice our tanks, but we're going to do it when we get to the boss fight. Right. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. I don't think that the boss room can connect to... The boss room can connect to other rooms, but I don't think that there is, like, an independent connection on the other sides of the boss room. I mean, What I mean to say is that I think that we would have discovered any other rooms around here if, uh... If, there were the, if they were there. Okay, let's sacrifice you. 
There we go. It happens. Uh, let's keep the excellent coffin. Let's keep the excellent coffin, uh, chap. For one extra food, I think we'll, I think we'll do it. Cool. All right, let's fight the boss. I'm not expecting a difficult one here. I'm actually expecting a very, very easy, very, very easy fight. Even easier because of the fact that we've got, I mean, insane crowd control. I mean, just insane crowd control, actually. It's very, very good. Okay. The guaranteed, the guaranteed loss of the Panzer Poo does kind of suck, actually. I also wish that I could sell, um, I wish that I could sell weapons. That would be really, really good. Uh, V, damn your ass to hell, watch it. V fails to notice a hole in the ground, falls in, gets his insides all of the machinery, doesn't influence... Who's V? Who's V? Who's V? Just an egghead? I say just an egghead. One of the eggheads. Uh, one of the eggheads that was carrying the grav gun. Oh my god, really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the only grav gunner that we had. Literally anyone else could have died. But the only grav gunner just happened to die there. Hate to see it. Absolutely hate to see it. Okay, we want to see if we can try and get vampirism level 3. It's going to be good sustain if we can get it. Uh, let's reroll here, I guess, because I'd like to get the grav gun. I'd like to get it on sale as well. I cannot justify picking that up for 14 gold. It's too late. No. 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 One more. No. Wow, that's just hot garbage, actually. Yep. Yep. Real, real bad. Real, real bad. Okay. Yeah, not expecting any any difficult fights here, but we want to get all of our levels. We want to get all of our levels, uh, and by levels I mean we want to get all of our mutations in check, given that it is the last floor. Very, very exciting. We're going to be ranking with this team. I hope if we can get past the if we can get past the final boss. All right. Okay. At least our front line has sustain. At least our front line has sustain. Okay, we're gonna buy one more food, and then I think that's that's it. We're gonna manage to hopefully only have one more feeding on this entire run. And it's gonna be, ideally, just before the boss. No fear, unfortunately. No fear was cast on the, uh, on the enemy. We're very, very close to losing our, our coffin individual, but uh, it'll probably happen. All right, basically anything that's on sale, we're going to pick it up. Uh, lightsaber especially is is brilliant. Coffin Dweller. Um... Yeah, reroll. Nothing. No grav gun. Really? Nothing that's on sale. I feel like this has just been very, very unfortunate. That is the BFG. That would be the shooter combo complete um, for seven bucks. I think it's just too much, though. That's the only problem. I think that it's just it's just a little too much. Okay, we need to buy one puny human. We need to buy one puny human. That is going to be the uh, the lightsaber on you. Fine. Pretty happy with that. Maybe straight up buying the BFG just to complete the combo would be good. But, I mean, I have a lot to spend on like, getting the health upgrade. So we need to spend 30. I think it's 30 in order to get this. I would also like to get Blitz done as well. So, yeah. We're not going to buy the BFG. Decision has been made. It's 25. It's 25 to get to the to get to the max uh, the maxed health upgrade, but it is something that we absolutely want to do. Very very important that we get it. I mean, it is it is all but necessary. It is absolutely darned essential. Okay, what do we got here? Uh fencers return 80% of their damage to attackers. I think that that might actually be straight up good enough to just justify taking right now. I don't think it's great. I think it's defensive rather than offensive, but it's good enough and in combination with the massive health bonus that we're that we're about to get, it's going to be it's going to be pretty gnarly. It's going to be pretty gnarly. Okay. Fencers, you've now got a a pretty sick bonus. Let's head up to the food zone first and then 
Let's see. That's the boss. We can't fight the boss until the very end of the level because you're not going to be allowed to leave. Uh, you're not going to be allowed to leave the boss room. You have to go back. Our excellent coffin individual did eventually die. I mean, we all knew it would happen. All knew it would happen. There was a there was an eating that was taking place there. The cabbage did indeed decide to didn't decide to, to eat my uh, to eat my unit, but but that that worked out. Okay, we can actually teleport straight down to the shop down here. Yeah. Okay, let's teleport down to the shop over here, and then let's fight this. Hold on, we got uh, we got more frontliners that we can actually have. I still need more big swords. I mean, the last couple of times that I've been in the PvP and it's been and it's been big swords uh, that have been up against me from the fencing category. The fencers, the fencers in the end game or the fencer related teams in the end game always have a lot of big swords and I've only got one big sword. It seems very 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 bad. Very 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 bad indeed. Okay. What do we got? Anything? Not even a freaking grav gun. Are you kidding me? Right. Well, let's get... Let's get the health. Let's get the health. We need to get the health. And I don't want to... I don't want to overcommit myself. I don't want to overcommit myself... In the shop. Doc Ock is good, but it's not Doc Ock that we need. It's grav gun that we need. That's what we're after. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. That's absolutely brilliant. Let's let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. Let's get it. And that goes on you. Wonderful. Um Yeah, fine. This is this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Extra stale pretzel. I actually think that the extra stale pretzel would be pretty would be pretty good right now. I'm going to reroll as well. Maybe we get lucky. That's a yeah, no, nothing. Nothing really. Just the sword is good, but not good enough, unfortunately. Uh, we got another shop in two rooms, so we'll we'll fight it out in this food room, then we'll head up to the shop. We'll see if we can maybe spend the last of our cash, get a couple of these uh a couple of these items on a couple of units. Yeah, we're just not dealing that much damage though. That's the only problem. Even with the big crits. Did we lose somebody there? Did we lose somebody? I don't actually know if we lost somebody to the uh, to the cabbage. I think we might have lost somebody to the cabbage. Hmm. Very, very strange. But not a not a problem. Not a problem. If we have to fight the cabbage uh, again, or if we have to fight any any units, then uh, again, then that's not a problem. I still think that this is the best way to do it. We don't want to we don't want to feed quite yet because we want to go into the boss uh, full of food. The boss is... The boss is bloomin' tough. The boss is bloomin' tough. Okay. Right. What have we got here? We got garbage. We got garbage. We got garbage. Uh, yeah. 25... 25 bucks to the last vampirism level. Ideally as well, if we have cash to spare, getting blitz level... 2 would be good. Yeah, we're gonna need to... We're gonna need to make sure that everyone's... Everyone's in a good location before fighting the boss. Yeah, pretzel needs to be... Pretzel needs to be on somebody. Needs to be on somebody right now. Let's do that. Nice. I think we want to reroll twice. Reroll twice. Oh man, that's it's a great sword to pick up, but I I straight up do not think it's worth it. I think we need to have nah, nothing. Yeah, we need to have um. We need to have something that's on sale that's really, really good, and I don't think I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. Okay. Um we are gonna feed we're gonna feed on Actually, there's another shop. Oh my goodness, there's another there's another shop en route to the en route to the boss. So let's actually head up this way. We've actually been been gifted an extra shop here. 
I think that we can eat here and still be fine. So let's eat here. That's going to be our last feeding for the game. We'll fight the enemy. We'll fight the horde. Four necromancers. These are the level one boss. This hopefully shows how far we've come. They're not even they're not even a challenge anymore. That's good because I would be very very worried if indeed we were being challenged by uh, anything like that at a time like this. So we're going to be going into the boss with the uh, with green health uh, with green food. So that's great. And we're also fighting these last couple of levels with uh, with a lot of uh, a lot of health as well. A lot of damage. A lot of damage coming out from the crits here. A lot of damage coming out from the crits. It's good. We didn't lose anyone. That's great. Excellent. Okay. What have we got here? So. 25 needs to be spent on vampirism. It's just not good. Let's reroll once. It's just not good. We've just not had we've just not had the best of luck when it comes to when it comes to the shop. I mean, I took sale and it's definitely paid for itself. Definitely very very good. But it's um but it's just not good enough to justify picking up. The problem with picking up swords this late into the game is that we'd be sticking them onto level 1 puny humans, which is fine, um, but also kind of not the greatest, I guess. Okay. But I guess we'll I guess we'll do it. I guess we'll do it. I guess we'll do it. 1 2 Right, so what's the HP on these starting units? 340? Doesn't exactly fill you with confidence, but it's okay. Still nothing. Again, like, I, I get the BFG. It it it's good. Um, screw it. We're gonna get it. Okay, we're gonna get it. That leaves us with 22 cash going into the, uh, going into the end zone. That gets us the better attack speed aura. I think that this is, uh, I think that this is good. Uh, yeah, I think this is I think this is the play. Let's fight the boss. Let's see what the heck happens. I'm anticipating a win. We might lose a couple of peeps. These people, I'm thinking, are probably not long for the world. Uh, but if we can survive with pretty much everyone else, then that would be I would be very very happy. Okay, let's have a little look see. Let's have a little look see. Let's see what happens. At least we're fighting with uh, with max HP. That's a stun. That's real good to see. That's fear again. Okay, fear against the final boss is absolutely overpowered. It's good because it's probably the only time that it's actually properly going to be useful. And I think that we managed to beat the boss without taking any casualties. Nice. Yeah, very, very happy with that. Okay. So, where does that leave us? It leaves us on our last little bit of spending. Uh, we need to spend we need to spend 40. I think we straight up just get vampirism level 3 and I think that we get Blitz level 2. I think it's that simple. I think it's that simple. I don't think that we want to faff around uh, Anymore, I don't think that we need any newbie armor. I don't think we need uh, rubber bullets I don't think that we need I don't think that we need anything Let's get vampirism. Let's get Blitz that is good. Okay now now it comes down to positioning so the front line is fine. The front line is absolutely fine. The only thing that we really need to worry about, I think, is... Let me select all the shooters just for a second. And let's move them down. Let's move them down here. Just so that I can get a, uh, a sort of rough glimpse of them. Now, this is, this is fine. This is fine. But they're going to go... They're going to go right about there. Right. Now we want to make sure that the transmitter constructors are in groups of three, ideally. Right. That goes there. That goes there. And then that goes there. Cool. And then swords. More swords. More swords. Pretzel. Pretzel. All right. That's probably just about as close as we can get without, uh, without impinging. Doc Ock on the front line is a good shout, actually. I think that's probably a little bit better. Yeah, Doc Ock on the front line, I think, is, is probably, is probably good. Right, don't think that there's anything else that we can spend our cash on. There's nothing. Tanks return 5 armor, newbie armor. 
Tentacles receive plus 15 to armor. That's literally nothing is, is, is worth anything. I guess we'll get the spiky armor on the tanks for five extra gold. Sure, what the heck? Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's see, let's see what the heck happens. It's gonna be, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be exciting. Uh, the game does indeed usually like to freeze here, but, uh, but that's fine. All right, we're gonna start with, uh, with number 50 here. All right. Wish me luck. This is the fight of the century. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, there we go. Uh, we see two big swords, right? You see, you see two big, two big swords. That's what kind of worries me, right? Two big swords are a lot of swords. And they're just very, very powerful. All right. Again, by the way, in, in this combat, you were seeing the power of mages, which I have yet to do as a focused build. Mages are so, so good at taking out emitters. Okay, this is an individual that has got an immense amount of fencers, an immense amount of vampirism. Actually, we're doing pretty well against them, but it's not gonna be... But it's not gonna be good enough. I think that we need to spec into mages. Mages just give you so much access to the back lines. And with the Thunderbolt ability, they're just able to do so much freaking damage. This is a shooter class. And a very, very tanky, very, very tanky front line. What do we got here? Fast reloads, intimidation, weighted dice, vampirism, 100% damage dealt, and then the shooters on the back line. Holy cow. Look at all of these. I've paused, by the way. Uh, look at all of these shooters. Holy cow, that's incredible. But pretty much everyone that we're coming up against that is that is ranked has got fast reload and also weighted dice. It's just something to consider. It's just something to consider. Uh, we have, I think, on this run, we have weighted dice, but we don't have, but we don't have fast reload. All right, a tank-oriented run here, or tank-oriented build, I should say. I suspect that we might perform not terribly against them. Look at the evasion. Is that evasion? Spiky armor. Okay, all right. It looks like we might actually rank. Okay. This is good. Okay, we're gonna... Okay, we're, we're guaranteed at least a rank then. That's excellent. I think we've... Have we already fought this, uh, this person? No. Not many people... Not many people that we've come across anyway seem to have throwers. This is a Lancer build, interestingly, on, uh, on this chap here. Uh, which is fine. Uh, lot of... Lot of dodging going on. Lot of dodging going on, but not, uh... But not a lot otherwise. Not a lot otherwise. Yeah, evasion is good. Evasion is very, very good. All right, 90, 92 or ninety three, I think is uh, is where we're gonna be. I think is where we're gonna be going. We need to like just commit hard to something, right? Committing committing hard to to a build is a challenge, but it's possible. Okay, you know what? On the whole. Ranking at number whatever it is 92 91 not bad not bad for the uh, Not bad for the inaugural run of the day It takes a little while it takes a little while to get uh, It takes a little while to get the lucky juices flowing. You know what I mean? You need to be lucky in the shop and uh, It needs to happen. I don't think we did fight Rito did we I don't think that we fought Rito Mages. Yeah, mages, mages, mages. Mages are... Mages are good. Mages are really good. 95. Alright. You know what? You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. 90 freaking 5. 